Today, we're doing another new junk food of the month. I revisit this series every two months where I go out and get a ton of new and limited time junk food and occasionally some fast food as well and make it into an epic challenge. For this challenge, we have cereal, Eggo waffles, Pringles, Hostess Kaz bars, Feastables cookies, Entman's ice cream sandwiches, Nutty Buddy ice cream bars, Blackout cake Oreos, Creamy and Crunchy Reese's peanut butter cups, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Pillsbury cookies, Butter Pecan Donuts from Dunkin', and Brisk iced tea. All right, guys, we got all our new junk food right here. The total stats of which I'm going to put right there for you guys. To drink, we got our brisk, warm water, and almond milk. I don't have a lot of almond milk, though, so I'm going to have to be conservative. FYI, the ice cream sandwiches and bars aren't in the boxes. I have a cooler back here with an ice pack so that they don't melt too much. But I'm going to leave the packages out so you know when I consume them. All right, guys. I think the time has come. My friends, my fans, my family, this is the new junk food of May, 2023. I'm hungry, I'm happy. Let's eat. Timer started, put it there, and let's start with the Eggo waffles. Chocolatey chip banana waffles. They're definitely cold now, but that's okay. All right, that's really good, but I think we should add something. Some peanut butter. I mean, banana chocolate chip, we gotta add peanut butter, right? And drinking out of this bottle is very inefficient, so I'm gonna pour it into my blender bottle. Yeah, this isn't a fizzy drink. I'm surprised, I, I thought it was gonna be fizzy, but um, hey, that's fine. And I got my new Warrior King blender bottle. Wakanda forever. Banana chocolate chip waffles with peanut butter. Oh man, that was so good. Incredible. And it's better with peanut butter. Next, let's do the Dunkin' Donuts. These are the new butter pecan donuts. Now, one of them got crushed because I decided to walk to Dunkin' Donuts to get them. And then I put them in the back of my backpack when I walked home. Turns out donuts don't like being back there. You suck. Wah, wah, wah. Hopefully it still tastes the same, which I actually don't even know what's in it. It looks like a filled donut. It looks like it has icing and then butternut crumbs on top. I don't know what it's filled with, but let's find out. It's filled with some kind of white icing, I think. <clears throat> the icing is pretty intense, but this is good. Donuts are done, those were incredible. And this is one of the times that I'm actually glad Duncan kind of skimps on the filling a little bit because the icing is very intense, but very good. <laughs> Keeping with the breakfast theme, let's do the cereal. Cheerios Vanilla Spice Cereal. That's it for the almond milk. Dry, I'm not impressed. Tastes like regular Cheerios, like in the yellow box. I chose this cereal as a last resort. 
There are many other new cereals right now, but I couldn't find any, so I had to settle for the Cheerios, which were quite disappointing. The cereal is boring. I'm not getting any vanilla or spice flavor at all. It just tastes like regular Cheerios or multigrain Cheerios. <coughs> Honey Nut Cheerios is still the best, hands down. This is my debris field. Cereal is done. Oh, I wish there was still some more milk because the milk at the end tasted like that cinnamon spice. Oh, that was good. 14 minutes, that's actually pretty good. The Entman's Glazed Cookie Donut Ice Cream Sandwiches. Again, I have them in my cooler. Okay, that is pretty cool. It looks like a glazed donut, definitely. I am intrigued. The exposure's correct this time. Yay! I finally figured it out. Tastes like they put vanilla ice cream between a piece of white chocolate and a gingerbread cookie. Not really a fan of this. Pass. Next, let's do the Blackout Cake Oreos. Apparently these are supposed to taste like chocolate cake. No more almond milk, unfortunately. Warm water should be there. I can't believe I didn't think to get more almond milk for this challenge. You got three packages of cookies, cereals, snack cakes, all of which would be better with milk. But rest assured, next time I will have more than enough. That indeed tastes like chocolate cake. Ooh, Oreo, they have done it again. Oreos are on a hot streak right now. Last week and this week's video had really good Oreos, and I'm typically not a chocolate fan, so that should say a lot. <sighs> Oreos are done. Those were incredible. Best item along with the waffles. Speaking of which, Oreos and Eggos. Maybe they should team up. Lego my Egg Oreo. <laughs> okay, next let's do the Van Leeuwen Ranch ice cream. Now, I don't think ranch belongs in ice cream, and I don't like ranch anyway, but it seems so strange. I'm like, I feel like I gotta try it out. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, man. I'm so nervous. Oh my God, that is so strange. Oh, that is so strange. Ice cream is done. That was weird, that was so weird. Well, if you ever thought it would be good to dump a bunch of sugar in your ranch, you would like this, but me, no thank you. Um, all right, let's do the two Reese's peanut butter cups next. We got Reese's creamy and Reese's crunchy. Let me not mix them up. All right, this is the creamy, this is the crunchy. So the creamy tastes like a regular Reese's, like this is just a Reese's. The crunchy definitely tastes like they use crunchy peanut butter. So yeah, pretty good. Reese's are done. I love a good Reese's. The rest of the iced tea is in the blender bottle. Let's do the Mr. Beast Feastables Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip Cookies. Plant-based and gluten-free. You gotta love Mr. Beast. I mean, come on. Mm. 
Plant-based chocolate chip cookies. Never thought I'd see the day. I think all of Mr. Beast's Feastables products are vegan, actually. The chocolate bars, cookies, everything. Try saying that three times fast. Mr. Beast's Feastables, Mr. Beast's Feastables. Oh, that's a tough one. These are interesting. They almost feel like they, they bring some warmth to your mouth when you eat them. It's hard to explain. And no, that's not just from the warm water, it's from the cookies. But, eh, they're okay. More cookies down. Well, let's do this next. The Hostess Kaz Bars. Ooey gooey caramel and cream, fluffy chocolate cake, delightful drizzle of chocolate, pieces of sweet crunch. A lot happening in here. Alright, maybe it's just me, but I feel like Hostess snack cakes have a distinct Hostess smell. Like you know when you opened a Hostess product. Maybe I'm crazy, but you can see the little layer of caramel and cream in there. I'm not a huge fan of Hostess. I think their products have a strong artificial flavor to them. I do enjoy the Jumbo Blueberry Donets, however. Those are good. Maybe a Hostess challenge in the future though? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Tastes like they put marshmallow and sugar crystals in between two pieces of artificial chocolate cake. I'm not really a fan. My mom's wondering if I'm done. Ah, ah. Sorry about that. Three more cash bars. I always text my mom before I film a challenge. She gives me words of encouragement and I send her pictures of all the food. It's really fun. I love you, mom. Cash bars are done. No, thank you. I'm gonna save the Pringles to the end because they're the only other salty item I had in this challenge. So next let's do the Pillsbury Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Soft baked cookies. Don't those look yummy. I swear, every month, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is coming out with another product. I can still taste that ranch ice cream. Oh. <sighs> okay. More cookies. Yeah, the ranch ice cream was bad, man. Oh, was that awful. I do wonder if it would go well with pizza, however. For people who like that, at least. Anyway, are you team soft cookie or crunchy cookie? I'm team soft, for sure. Soft cookie, that is. It's easier on your mouth as well. There's some things I think Cinnamon Toast Crunch does well, and there's some things I think they really don't do well. This is one of them. The Oreos were the best cookies. Oh, Oreos, they're just crushing it today. Whew, last week, this week, Oreos has got it going on. Cookies are done. 38 minutes, I think we'll be good. Now let's do the Nutty Bars. Peanut butter ice cream with crunchy pieces dipped in crispy milk chocolate. Let me go to my cooler. Okay, four ice cream bars. A few years back, the place I was working, my boss loved Nutty Buddies. He would bring packs of them in all the time for everyone. I like to store mine in the freezer before devouring it. But with these ice cream bars, now you don't have to. I think these are even better as well. There's more peanut butter flavor inside. And I love peanut butter. Tastes like an ice cream Nutty Buddy. I wish there was more peanut butter flavor though. Ugh, all right, Nutty Bars are done. Not bad. 42 and a half, the last item, Philly cheesesteak Pringles. Now these initially came out a while ago, maybe six months at least, maybe even longer. I saw them the other day at Walmart, finally.
Pringles and Pop-Tarts are probably the most elusive foods for me. I don't know why, they're just hard to find for some reason. <laughs> Case in point, they have banana bread and Apple Jacks flavored Pop-Tarts out now, but both completely eluded me. So sad. I found these Pringles at last though, so there is always hope. I feel like the, the flavor of this reminds me of something else, but I can't really put my finger on it. I wanna say maybe cheddar and sour cream, but I'm not sure. Let's get the last of them down and see if I can finish the iced tea. Whew. Pringles are done, not bad. Still some iced tea. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and see you later. Ugh. Empty time. 48 minutes, 23 seconds. Let's finish with a Sprite Kit Kat. Excuse me, a Sprite Tic Tac. Tastes like a lemon lime candy. Yeah, I'd say they nailed it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next Wednesday, peace. Why did the dad pour cinnamon on his head? To spice up his life. That's not even a joke. That's, what is that? What? <laughs> That's so dumb. That's so dumb. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. What? He poured cinnamon on his head to spice up his life? That doesn't make sense. Get out of here. Get out of here. What is that? Spice up his life. Oh, I'm looking to spice up my life. I'm gonna pour some cinnamon on my head. <laughs>